operations with matrices. In this example, we shall perform the given operations. We will add and subtract the following matrices. A matrix is classified by its dimensions, that is, by the number of rows and columns it contains. In this example, we'll add and subtract two matrices, each containing two rows and two columns. So we should classify both of these as two by two matrices. Let's take a look at the analytic solution. In order to add matrices, we shall add corresponding elements for our matrices. So first we'll add the element that's in the first row, first column of our matrices. So negative five plus six is a positive one. So we'll place that as the element of the first row, first column. Next, we'll add the elements in the first row, second column. 4 plus negative 7 is negative 3. And we place that in the matrix as the element in the first row, second column. Next, we'll add the elements in the second row, first column. 4 result of negative 10. And next, we'll add the elements in the second row, second column and we have our resulting matrix 1, negative 3, negative 10, and 5, a resulting 2 by 2 matrix. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. We'll enter each into the calculator as a 2 by 2 matrix. We'll let the first 2 by 2 matrix equal matrix A in the calculator and we'll let the second matrix equal to matrix B in the calculator. So first let's enter matrix A into the calculator. So the matrix is located above our inverse key and it's a yellow function. So it's a second in matrix. Next we'll scroll over to edit. And we're going to edit matrix A which is already highlighted so we'll press enter. If you have items already inside of your matrix don't worry about it because we will write over those values. So next we're going to enter matrix A and let's just recall after putting anything in the calculator we're going to hit enter. So once again we had a 2 by 2 matrix. So notice I'm pressing enter after every entry. And notice it scales our matrix out accordingly. So we have two rows and two columns. So I'll simply place in the elements. And I'm pressing enter after every element. Once we place all of the elements into our matrix, we'll return to the home screen by second and mode. Next, we'll enter matrix B into the calculator. So we'll go back into the matrix. We'll scroll over to edit. We'll scroll down and now we want matrix B so we'll highlight B and now we'll press enter. Once again it's a 2 by 2 matrix. So just remember to press enter after every entry. and now we'll place the elements in our matrix once all the elements are placed in our matrix we'll return to the home screen now that we're back at the home screen we'll enter the matrix expression by using the matrix function on our calculator so we'll in simply add matrix A plus matrix B. So I'm going to enter that in my calculator. I'm going to go back into the matrix. I want matrix A plus once again going back into the matrix matrix B for our resulting matrix. Next, we'll subtract 
the following matrices or the same two matrices. So once again, we'll subtract the corresponding elements of our matrices. So first, we'll subtract the elements in the first row, first column for a difference of negative 11. We'll subtract the elements in the first row, second column for a result of positive 11. We'll do the same for the elements in the second row, first column for a result of 0. And lastly, the elements in the second row, second column. And we have our resulting matrix. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. So we'll simply enter each into our calculator. The first is matrix A, the second is matrix B, which we already have them stored. So I'll simply enter the matrix function matrix A minus matrix B. So I'll simply put in, I'll go back into the matrix. We have matrix A minus, I'll go back into the matrix once again. We'll select matrix B for our resulting matrix. 